Hello folks. Um, somewhere in the uh, Yorkshire Dales, not saying where. But as you can see, it's all very green and damp. And uh, what am I doing here? Well, I'm here because uh, I'm going to attempt to um, stalk some deer because there's quite a few in the area. Um, and obviously I'm not going to shoot any today. I'm just going to take some pictures. So I'm um, going to work up this river valley here. And um, see if we can find some traces. Apparently there's pretty much every species found in this country now. Um, Roe, Red, Munt Jack, Chinese Water Deer, they're all here somewhere. Fallow Deer, um, Red are fairly new to the area as far as I'm aware, so I don't know if we're going to even see any trace of them today. I know people that live in the area and they, you know, they've maybe seen tracks and some uh, feces, but that's about all. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is just, uh, as I say, head up here down there, which goes up there, and then uh, see if we can find any tracks. If I find anything else while we're going, I'll probably try and point that out as well. But as you can see, over there, it's the road. People that know the area may recognise that bridge. Right, well, I'm about a mile upstream now. It's taking me about 20 minutes to get here. Climbed up and followed the top of that ridge over there and then came back down and crossed just at the bottom there. And I'm going to head up this way. Um, so far, not seen an awful lot in the way of any kind of deer tracks, although. There is definitely evidence of some uh, men having come this way. Oh, this is the kind of place you would expect to uh, use to track through squidgy mud. There you go. Squeeze up with my boot and sort of walk coming out of it. So that's the kind of place we would expect, expect to see some tracks if there were any. the benefit of you trackers out there. Give you a close up, can't see anything there. But looks like at least a couple of guys came this way at some point. Right there and been dragged down here. There's much better view. Since then, Mr. Sun has come out. I don't really know what's on the other, other side of that ridge. I think it's some fields. Likewise, at the end there, we'll see. Very calm and relaxing, nonetheless. Thank God for Gore-Tex, eh? Anyway, I think I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to get back to you later. Can't do both really, I'm making too much noise filming. Hey, again. Right, how far we come? Somewhere over there is the uh, little uh, stream that I was walking along earlier. We're now about, probably nearly half a mile away from that now. I think you can just about hear a slightly closer tributary which I've passed. I've seen a few tracks and things, or signs of movement at least, especially this area. 
lots of flat and grass and leads us to here. Well, this is certainly a popular place, but there's damage here that seems to be fairly fresh, so I would say we're in the right area. But as hunters of you out there will know, hey, this could take all day and I might not see a thing, and B, I might see a thing, but they might hear or see me first. Believe me, the noisiest I'm being now is right now. But, um, but what I may do is uh, head into those woods over there and um, lay low for a while, see what we can see, see what comes along.